Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we are making fire cooked chicken gyros. So I love cooking chicken over fire on the rotisserie and that's exactly what we're going to do today with this chicken gyros. Now I've got about two kilos of chicken thighs here, boneless skinless chicken thighs and we just want to make a nice marinade to go on those chicken thighs before we spin it over the fire. So I've got 400 ml of Greek yogurt here and then to that we're just going to start adding some flavours in. So I've got a couple of lemons here and we're just going to put the juice of two lemons into that yogurt. This is obviously going to give us that lovely zing. You can zest the lemons in as well, but I'm just going to go with the juice for this. Chicken gyro should also have plenty of garlic in there, so I've got six decent sized garlic cloves here that I'm just going to smash like that, just to make them peel a bit easier, and then we're just going to pop those into the garlic press, and again into our yoghurt based marinade, so, and then we can just pop that garlic clove into the garlic press, like that, nice and easy, and just crush six garlic cloves into our yoghurt based marinade. So we've got the lemon and the garlic in there, we're going to go in with some herbs and spices, so Oregano, I'm going to go in with around about two teaspoons of oregano. Two teaspoons of coriander, one, two. And the same with cumin, about two teaspoons of cumin in that goes. Paprika, I'm going to go in with around about a tablespoon of paprika. A little bit of cayenne for a kick, about half a teaspoon. And then we want some salt, of course, a good teaspoon of salt. About half a teaspoon to a teaspoon ground black pepper, got some olive oil in there, probably going to go in about three or four tablespoons of olive oil and then we want some red wine vinegar in there as well so about three tablespoons of red wine vinegar and all we're going to do with that is just take a spoon and just give that a good mix to combine and that is our marinade nice and easy so you can marinate this overnight 24 hours 48 hours whatever tickles your fancy i'm hungry now so this is going straight onto my chicken straight onto the rotisserie and straight over some fire so best tools for the job are your hands so just pour that onto your chicken and then just get in there with your hands and just make sure every bit of little chicken is covered with that lovely flavored marinade so this smells great already the chicken is sat in that marinade now so I'm going to be spinning this over fire. Like I said, I'm using my bri from the bri man. This is a really great way to cook. It's real fun. It's immersive cooking over fire. It's just fantastic. And the bri is an amazing bit of kit to do this on. So I'm going to be using a rotisserie, like I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this chicken, thread it onto the spit, and then we're going to stick this straight over the fire that I've got burning down there. I'm using bri wood from bri wood UK. This stuff is really dry, really dense. It burns for a long time and it gives you nice hot embers. So I've had that burning behind me now for about half an hour. So I've got a nice bread of coals to sit this chicken over. And all we do is just top it up every now and again if we need to increase the heat. So we're gonna thread the chicken on, get it over the fire, then we'll come back here and we'll make a satsiki. <laughs> Right, so the chicken is spinning behind me and it's looking beautiful. So now I'm going to show you how to knock up a Greek-based sauce, otherwise known as a tzatziki. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, so we're going with it. So I've got um, about 450-500 ml Greek yogurt here. And to that, I want to go with about a tablespoon of mint, dried mint for this. And then we've got a lemon here, so I want to go in with a juice of one lemon. So just squeeze that in. Being careful to make sure the pips don't go in there, of course. And of course, we want some garlic. So I've got a garlic clove here. I've already peeled. This is quite a large garlic clove, so I'm just gonna pop that into the garlic press and squeeze that in. Pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. And then, of course, we've got some cucumber in there as well. So I've got, I've got half a cucumber here. So I'm gonna remove the seeds and then just thinly slice it into little strips and then what we're going to do is just pop it in here to drain it because you don't want all the juice from that cucumber into here as well so 
Let's crack on and get this prepared. And then what we're going to do is just pop it into there, give it all a good stir, and then we stick that in the fridge for later. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to make a homemade chilli sauce. Chicken's nearly done, the tzatziki is in the fridge, so now I'm going to show you how to make a nice, easy chilli sauce. Now, all you need for this is a shallot, some chilies, a bit of garlic, some chopped tomatoes, a bit of a cider vinegar and some sugar for the sweetness to round it all together, and of course a bit of salt and pepper. So this couldn't be easier and we're going to utilise the embers that we've got behind me. So I'm just going to finely slice the shallot and the chilli and the garlic, and then we're going to sweat those down in a pan, we're just going to sit this pan just straight on the coals, and then we're going to sweat this down in the pan before adding in the chopped tomatoes, let those simmer down for five minutes or so, and then we'll finish it off with a side of vinegar, the salt and pepper, balance it with a bit of sugar, and we'll put a little bit of cayenne in there for a bit of extra heat as well. So let's crack on and make a nice, easy chilli sauce. Here we go, all the elements are now together. The chicken has come off. I know this chicken is safe to eat because, and I've not talked about this yet, this is my trusty Thermapen, my Thermapen 1. Now, if you don't know what one of these is, this is an instant read thermometer. This takes the guesswork out of your cooking. Every cook should have one of these, trust me. So this is the Thermapen 1, and I've been periodically checking the chicken for the temperature. I know chicken is safe to eat at 73 degrees. I've checked it a couple of times, it wasn't quite ready. We checked it the last time, it hit 73 degrees, so I'm happy. So um, get yourself one of these, I'm telling you now. There, there's a link in the description box below to be able to get yourself one of these. They don't cost a lot. If you're going to be cooking outside, if you're going to be cooking inside, let's face it, meat's getting more expensive. Get yourself one of these, take the guesswork out of cooking and ensure your food is perfectly cooked every time. So Thermapen 1, chicken gyros, it's been cooked over fire on the bride behind me. We've got the homemade chilli sauce, we've got the tzatziki, We've got some flatbreads that I've just popped on a shelf over the coals in the bry just to heat those through. And of course, it's not gyros without the chips, is it? So we've got some chips here as well. So now all we've got to do is build it. So let's crack on. Look at that, I mean, how good does that look? We've got the chicken in there, we've got the tzatziki in there, the chilli sauce, of course the chips. So there we go, there's my um, fire cooked chicken gyros, cooked to perfection thanks to the Thermapen one, cooked on the boy over fire, such a fantastic way to cook. I really hope you'll give it a go. I'm the Smoking Elk, thanks for watching. I'm gonna tuck into this and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>